a conversation with the newly elected mayor of Gaithersburg. We'll meet some county students who are tearing up the dance floor and a county program that rewards residents for being stewards of the environment. Thanks for watching everyone, I'm Susan Kennedy. As this year quickly comes to a close, officials are anticipating budget numbers for 2016 and how funding from the state will play into that equation. At the last Board of Public Works meeting in Annapolis, I caught up with Governor Larry Hogan and asked him if money for Montgomery County Schools is on his radar. Well, I dramatically increased the education funding last year. Uh, by no governor in the history of the state has ever spent more on K-12 education than I have. Last year I was the first governor in the history of the state to ever put any money in GCI in his first year. This year I'm going to be the first governor in history to ever fully fund GCI in his second year. So we're, we're going to add uh, substantial amounts of money uh, to the school system again this year. Last year the governor withheld more than $17 million in geographical cost of education index funding, a formula that provides provides additional state school funds to the jurisdictions where the cost of education is higher. County Council Education Committee Chair Craig Rice says it is the law for the governor to honor that commitment. What we're asking for the governor to do is to choose to prioritize education, not to react to legislation that's there that forces his hand, but to actually say, I want to see ed more education funding come to these jurisdictions that need it, and I value our kids. And that's not what he's done yet. He's continued to hide behind uh, the fact of these automatic increases and inflationary instances that go into effect without any choice from him at all. A disinvestment in education is not a sound economic development policy. We know how much uh, education is valued when it comes to economic development, something that the governor claims to be a champion of. Making sure that you have the talented workforce to be able to attract these businesses to come here. You can't do that without a strong education system and a heavy investment in K through 12 as well as secondary education. 